Okay. Not this one. Okay, um, I'm showing my slide. Oh, sorry, I'm not sharing my screen. Yeah? Okay, um, you should be seeing my PowerPoint slide now. Let me know if not if you're not able to see um, anything on your screen. Can see, sir. Can see. Okay, good. Now, um, previously we stopped at a hydrostatic force. Uh, what I mean by hydrostatic means that we have a plate that are uh, submerged under water. So, like what you see on your screen now, we have a plate that submerged under water with the anger. Yeah. So we have a, a a thin plate here, and we have a force acting on the surface here. So when you go uh, under the water, so as we know that as we go deeper, um, a concept, yeah? So if you go deeper, your pressure increase. And if you go higher, your pressure de decrease, yeah? So this is the concept that we need to know. And also uh, the definition of pressure pressure equal to force divided by area. So later on, we need to convert all the force, all the pressure into forces. So later, um, we need to use this general equation, pressure times the area of the force. Okay. Now, previously we start at, or uh, we stopped at a few equation. So, Yep, so this is an equation that uh, last uh, in our last lecture. So uh, if you want to find a force, you need to take the pressure times the area. So when you see the D in front of your force means it's a small changes of force. So uh, then uh, it will link up to the area. Why our pressure do not have a D in front? Because our pressure was, uh, um, it was, uh, what's the correct name for it? Because our pressure um, is acting on all the surfaces uh, on the on the object we have, yeah. So it's a constant pressure that we have. So we don't have the DP there, yeah. Okay. Then the rest is just a from a differentiation uh, equation to uh, integration. So uh, the equation on the screen here. The first equation on the screen, on the top, this one, refer to a small changes of force. So if you want to find the total force, mean you add an uh, integration uh, to the equation. So like the second equation that you see on the screen here. Uh, FR represent resultant force, which is on the screen on the left. This is the resultant force that acting on the object. And the pressure that we have on this object here, we can write P equal to P0 plus rho GH. So the P here um, refer to the atmospheric pressure. Eh? So refer to the atmospheric pressure that acting from the surface here, plus, right, there's a pressure P atm, pre, uh, pressure atmospheric press on the surface here, plus there's a hydrostatic pressure that press on this one. So uh, the hydrostatic that uh, inside the water here or fluid here, we use rho gh here. So uh, when you want to calculate the pressure, um, when you consider atmospheric pressure in your calculation, then you need to add the uh, P0, which is the reference uh, pressure. Okay. So sometimes where the question asks you to uh, calculate uh, uh, or ignore the, the, the atmospheric pressure effect, then in your calculation straight away, you remove the P0 or P atm in your calculation. Straight away, you only calculate the rho GH component, which is inside the water component. Okay, so these are the thing. And then the rest is just a, a trigonometry uh, concept where uh, you convert your H in terms of y. So because we are looking at uh, y axis and z axis. So and again, the x is uh, go outside the screen. And then the bottom photo here is the one that uh, you view from uh, the 
top of the plane here. The view from here, and then you will see this photo. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, what then? Uh, yeah, so just now we mentioned about H. H is uh, we use the trigonometry sign uh, data. So you want to find the, uh, the the length of your H here. You use Y sine theta. And then uh, last time you stop at uh, this equation. Uh, okay, maybe I reverse a little bit. So uh, uh, we know that our resultant force equal to the integration of pressure on the uh, area. And then uh, we put in our pressure just now. Our pressure equal to P0 plus rho G H. In this case, we consider the atmospheric pressure. Yeah, so again, we are consider this is water and then consider uh, pressure on the surface plus the one that until your plate here. So this is uh, rho GH. So sometimes again, sometimes you need to look at a question. Sometimes we consider the atmospheric pressure effect. Sometimes we do not. So it depends on here. So there's a catch area here uh, where you need to carefully look at the question. Okay, the rest is just a, sub, a substitution of equation. So you substitute P equal to P0 plus rho GH, and then you substitute your H just now. Uh, your H, and this is your plate. So your plate is in the Y axis uh, with the theta. So this is your Y. So you convert your H in term of Y. So um, you get your H equal to Y sine theta here. And then you integrate. So when you integrate, you have two terms. One is uh, integrate P0 dA plus integrate uh, rho G H uh, dA. Yeah, H become Y sine theta. So uh, the first one, if you rho, rho, rho uh, not or rho zero, uh, you become uh, rho PA, uh, PA, and then uh, you can pull out all the constant, uh, the rho G, uh, rho G and psi is a constant value, so you pull out and then you, you have the integration of Y uh, DA. Okay. Then you need to recall what you learned in your uh, dynamics or static a term called first moment of the surface area. Yeah, you integrate area uh, to the Y, you get YCA. YCA, YC means uh, your centroid uh, position, right? Centroid of the area. So if you uh, cannot recall what is first moment of uh, a surface area, you need to flip back to your static uh, uh, module, uh, go and find. However, I, I already included uh, a new appendix in the Moodle, so you can go and download. There's appendix that help you to uh, define the formula for first moment of uh, surface area. So uh, later on, we'll use the appendix for our example. Um, here, uh, we can write this equation here. On the left-hand side here, uh, we can transform this equation by replacing our first moment of surface area term as YCA over here. Yeah. So uh, fundamental equation is this one. Resultant force FR equal to integration of pressure times the dA. And then we look at the scenario, uh, consider the pressure, uh, and then we convert according to the orientation of our object. Uh, yeah, this is just a simplification of uh, equation. equation. Um, and then we just move on. So from here, um, we further, all right, we further uh, simplify our equation. P0, okay, maybe I do uh, go a little bit fast. So just now your FR, your resultant force equal to P, 0a plus rho g sine theta yca, which is from here. 
this equation to here. And then we factor out uh, both terms because both terms have A, we factor out the A. So we get P0 plus rho sine theta YC. And then we later, we further simplify this one to a term called PC, right? pressure through centroid. This one, PC. Okay, it's a, a absolute pressure, the pressure through centroid. Okay, so again, if you uh, don't know what is centroid, uh, you need to go back to the static uh, static module and uh, have some reading on centroid, what is centroid. Okay, um, so far the equation that you see on the screen here, if you write PR, or resultant force equal to PCA, uh, and you ex expand the equation to P0 plus rho g sine theta, and uh, recall that just now uh, the pressure component that we consider is P0 plus rho g h. With this, we include the pressure from the atmospheric pressure. So this equation only consider, only calculating the pressure on the top of the plate that I highlight on the screen now. We just only consider the pressure on the surface on top of the plate here. Yeah. So uh, this equation do not calculate the total pressure, but it only focus on the area on top of the plate here. OK, any question so far? Uh, for this equation. Any question that uh, um, you're not clear or you are lost somewhere, uh, you do not know how to... Uh, not clear. Good, eh? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Then, okay, last week, uh, okay. And then we pull out a new diagram with this on your screen here on the left-hand side. Um, you learned about the distribution of force before. And um, how do we draw the shape of the force here? How do we draw or how we uh, re reason, uh, how we reason uh, the shape of this uh, shape? It's an unevenly distributed uh, pressure here. How we know? Because we know that as deeper you go, there's a different pressure acting on each point here. Okay, because just now we know that pressure equal to pressure reference plus rho g h. So what change here is your rho, uh, is your, sorry, is your h. So uh, for example, the point number one here uh, will be less pressure than the point number two here. So, and then because of the, the, the angle of the, the, the image, uh, uh, surface here, we will get a, a, a linearly increase, a linearly increase of uh, pressure uh, acting on the surface here. And again, we are focusing on force, so we need to convert the pressure uh, into force uh, component here. Um, just a note, just a side note, um, if you want to obtain the net force, on the surface, uh, we can use PC uh, in the equation here, FR equal to PCA, this term, we can straight away use uh, gauge pressure or gauge reading. Right? Let's say you have a pressure gauge yeah, that can measure pressure. So uh, you straight away use uh, what is reading from your sensor and then times the area then you get the force, okay? So um, this is just a, 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 a note or, or tips for you. When the question asks you to calculate uh, the resultant force on uh, the surface here, uh, and uh, maybe the, the, the gauge pressure was given. So straight away, you can, um, you can uh, uh, take the gauge sensor uh, reading and then just times the area that you have over here, uh, then you'll get the resultant force. The next question is, where is this uh, 
resultant force will take place? Uh, that is a question that we need to answer today. So uh, previously, what we uh, explained in our lecture is to find the magnitude uh, of our resultant force. Now the next question is that how do we know the, the, the location of our force? Uh, because later on, we will need to find what is the moment of the force. Again, uh, uh, refresh, what is moment or torque? So if you have a force, the force, when the force is perpendicular to an area or a point, this force will generate a torque or moment given by F cross D or F times D to get the torque. And in this case is uh, a clockwise uh, rotation. Uh, so later on, we will, we will talk about moment. But uh, at this moment, uh, at this, uh, the next question we're going to solve is where is this uh, FR, where is this uh, resultant force will take place? So there's a formula um, that uh, we will consider in our calculation. So we look at the first point. We know that uh, geometric coordinate give us X and Y uh, coordinate. Uh, it will give us this location. And um, we're referring to the axis over here. In here is Y and Z. So we are consider from the reference point here, zero. And then we're going to check what, where, where is the location here. So we're going to look at uh, Y prime. We give uh, Y prime here. Um, uh, we'll consider Y prime here uh, for our uh, uh, discussion uh, here. Huh? Okay, so again, the Y position will give us the moment that created on uh, from the reference point zero here. So let's say you are you're calculating the Y naught from the Y naught or Y prime, uh, you're able to calculate the moment that created from uh, from the zero here, uh, from the origin here, O, uh, under the effect of FR. So again, uh, we already know that the, the formula for the moment is F times the D, or in this case, F times the Y prime, you'll get the, in this case, you'll get an anti-clockwise uh, motion uh, uh, on the plate itself. So these are the formula that we're going to use. So uh, we will use Y prime times FR, which is in this case, we have, uh, uh, if you look at the diagram below, <coughs> excuse me. you take FY, which is here, here, times the FR, which is acting on this dot, you'll get a moment. So the product of uh, y prime times the f uh, r, which is your resultant force, you get a moment, all right? Get a moment, and um, another way of getting this one is that uh, you take uh, the integration of y times the pressure times a. So pressure times the a, you know, is uh, f r or the force. Force times y, you will get. Uh, your moment also. So it's a, a mathematics uh, presentation that represents uh, the moment uh, distribution uh, under the effect of pressure. So uh, you start with the first equation for today. Uh, y prime FR equal to integration of your area, Y pressure times the dA. Okay, so, um, we will use uh, this equation. This is the fundamental uh, or basic equation that we're going to focus on uh, for today. Y prime FR equal to integration of Y PDA. So again, uh, the rest of the definition we did learn. You substitute what is P. Again, pressure equal to P0 plus rho GH. All right, pressure equal to rho GH. You substitute inside this equation and you follow with the calculation and then after that you move your fr to the right hand side then you get your y prime 
The rest are uh, going to show you just the mathematics steps. Um, important is the equation that I highlight on the screen now, right? This one. All right. The, the, the rest of the formula that I show the screen it will be look complex, but again, it will build on the formula that I showed to you just now. All right. So you expand uh, row zero plus rho g h, expand your h, again h equal to y sine theta. You further continue, um, okay, let me see, um, then you uh, pull in your y inside the equation, you'll get uh, y, t y square and y inside the equation. And then um, you expand it uh, for further calculation. So again, um, this equation consists of uh, two, two terms of uh, integration uh, equation. So the first one is this one. So you get P0 integration, integration of y dA plus rho g sine theta integration of y2 dA. So you have two terms of there. Again, why you can pull out the P0 because it's a constant value. And rho g sine theta also a constant value. Okay. Um, cool, are you all right? Cool, are you there? Yes. So. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, any question on the screen? Anything that you are you're not understand? The, the last second part. This equation? Yeah. This one. Yeah, so yeah, which, yeah. which one you don't understand? You don't understand why why this how this one come from is it? Yeah. You understand the second row, the second equation? Yeah, the second okay. Okay. Now it's just a mathematics. Uh, uh, you you take the y times inside because it's a bracket. So you times your y. You get this one. Then you times your y into a second one. You get this one. Do you see it? Cool. Yes, sir. Okay, now you clear. Eh? And then the yes. rest is just, uh, you just break it out. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Amir and Oliver, uh, ask me question if you have any. Eh? Just stop me. Okay, and ask sure. Okay. All right. Now, um, just for your note, uh, the first term here is equal to uh, yc times a. The first term here is equal to uh, your y over centroid, y centroid, yc times a. The second part, we call it second moment of area. So we have first moment of area and second moment of area. So um, um, again, uh, this is uh, for on the static uh, module. Just now, we consider uh, first moment of area when it's given by this equation, delta uh, integration of y dA equal to y C A, first moment. Now we look at second moment. Second moment in static, we call it I Y Y or I X X. This is the one that you learn in your static. Or I X Y or I Y X and so on. So you're going to uh, pull. <coughs> so you pull what you learn uh, in your static into this uh, uh, module. So you uh, the second term, which is integration of uh, area over y square, you um, you get as your second moment of area, uh, i x x i y y. Um, so again, when you learn about statics, uh, there's one trick that we use to calculate uh, the IXX or the second moment of area is IXX equal to IXX hat plus AY, uh, AYC square. Again, YC here is a centroid over, over, over two. Um, and IXX uh, hat here, this is your centroid uh, second moment of area. Yeah. 
So we replace uh, the definition of second moment of area over x axis. We will uh, get the second uh, equation on the screen here, where you replace the integration of a y dA, this is your first moment of uh, area. You replace with uh, yc over a, and then uh, you replace the second integration on the screen here with your second moment of area equation. I x x head plus a y centroid uh, square. And then you further uh, uh, tidy up your, your equation. Uh, the first one is that you factor out all the a in the equation because uh, this one will give you another two equation. So um, you factor out, you get the first one. Right? You factor, uh, you, you expand this one and then there's an A for this term. You put it together with the, with the first term here. You'll get YC times the P0 plus rho G YC sine theta times the A. Right, you put this one and the product of this one times this one together, you get the first term, and then this is the second term uh, that you get from the previous equation. Okay, and then um, you want to further simplify to help you to uh, calculate things, you convert back your YC sine theta to HC, means you convert uh, into H term, uh, this one, the height term. HC means there's uh, some place over here that uh, add to the uh, centroid. Huh? HC means uh, to the centroid of the object here. Then, uh, we can further reduce our equation from the, the second line here to the last line, this one. Okay, so we know that P0 plus rho GH equal to our resultant force. So further reduce to FR. And this one you follow, continue to write. All right. So, so far, we reduce this equation to the last equation here is a derivation steps that um, we try to put integration equation in term of FR and your second moment of area uh, over centroid. So means um, the term on the right here is over centroid. Over centroid, you see the C term here. And then uh, I x x hat is over the centroid. So this slide is, um, is just a expansion of a mathematics uh, model, All right? There, there's nothing linked up with uh, uh, any engineering uh, concept here. It's just a ex expansion of mathematics model that we learned previously. Okay. So again, uh, just a note for you. Um, I already uh, upload uh, a new appendix uh, I name it as uh, Merli, Merli Engineering Mechanic Static. Uh, I extract from Engineering Mechanic Static books uh, wrote by Merli and uh, other author. Uh, it's a seven edition, um, just published recently, um, year 2021. Um, and it, I think it's uh, four, three to four pages of uh, appendix. So um, you can download this uh, Appendix uh, A to C. Uh, this this uh, this only one file from the Moodle, right? So you need uh, you may need this one for your calculation in coming in, in your coming test or final exam. Okay. So if uh, if you're able to memorize all the equation, then you don't need this one. Okay. Okay. Um, we back to our equation. So uh, y prime fr equal to yc frA plus rho sine theta 
and our second moment of area uh, over the centroid. So this is what we uh, reach after we derive. Um, our intention is to find the Y prime, which is the, the location of uh, our FR acting on the surface, which is our Y prime. So uh, Y prime, if you rearrange the equation, will get uh, Y over centroid plus rho G sine theta I uh, X, X H, which is uh, uh, over the centroid, divided by FR. It's just a um, rearrangement of your equation and then they put in uh, Y prime term. Okay. This, this equation is very important. That's why I highlight on the screen with the box there. Okay. So again, this equation, um, when we include our reference pressure, which is P0. Okay. Because in our derivation just now, our uh, p equal to p naught plus rho g h. That's why uh, the equation that I highlight on the screen here is considering our ambient pressure. Another equation, if we ignore our uh, reference pressure or atmospheric pressure, p0, then uh, again, we can use our gauge pressure, our PC gauge pressure to calculate our, uh, our Y prime here. Okay, so you write FR equal to PC gauge A. So you are looking at gauge because you ignore the atmospheric pressure. Yeah. Um, um, equal to rho G H over centroid times the A. So this is the uh, another equation. If you ignore the atmospheric pressure, yeah. So remember, and then uh, yeah, this is also recall back. Uh, where's the location of your Y C? Uh, you expand the H C into Y C sine theta, and then you uh, carry forward what you have from the previous equation. Um, so this is the second equation, uh, also important. When you ignore your um, uh, P0, uh, why suddenly uh, this sign P rho sine theta you can take out because you substitute your FR with this term. You substitute your rho G, uh, rho, you substitute uh, resultant force FR equal to rho G Y C sine theta. You substitute this one inside here. You cancel out uh, rho G sine theta, rho G sine theta. So bottom here, you left out with Y C times the A. Uh, or in other way, you can write A, Y, C. So don't confuse with the top one and the bottom one. Uh, when you uh, uh, answer a question in exam, uh, look carefully on the instruction given. Uh, there will be a section ask you to include ambient pressure. Then you use the, the top equation. There will be a, a, uh, there will be a section um, ask you to purposely ignore the uh, P0 um, effect on, on that one. Yeah, uh, Both give you the same answer. Uh, just for your hints, if the section A asks you to include uh, ambient pressure, you use this equation, you, do, you, you follow the calculation, you get one answer, and then maybe section B asks you to calculate the Y prime again, uh, with the uh, by ignoring the the reference pressure of P zero, uh, the answer will be the same. You'll get the same answer. Um, yeah. So uh, it's just a double check uh, question. Means you answer section A, you check yourself for uh, section B. So if section A you get uh, one answer, section B you get another answer. Means uh, 
something wrong in your calculation. Yeah, uh, the difference is um, is between the, the the formula that you use. One, when you include the P zero means uh, your pressure equal to P zero plus rho a rho g h. When you ignore the pressure, you take out the P zero in the equation, then uh, you only left out with uh, the, the pressure gauge or the HC inside the equation. So uh, you replace the FR um, in the um, equation, this one, and then you arrive at this one. So later on, we'll look at one uh, tutorial question, and then you will see uh, 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 how we apply these two equations. So I also help you to have some remark with the blue color uh, text here. So the top one, uh, when we're going to use is that when we're interested to find resultant force um, on the submerged sides of the surface, which mean the first one, we only con we only interested to find what is happening on the top surface of the plate. Then you use the first one. Okay. Normally, uh, the question were designed in a certain way. Uh, maybe the question asks you, uh, find the pressure on top of the plate. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. So uh, it means that it just gives you hints that um, straight away you use the top one, yeah, uh, for the Y prime. Then uh, also there's a marking here. It say that um, um, when the question you uh, got state that um, uh, assume assume you have the same uh, uh, atmospheric pressure or preference pressure act on the free surface and other side of the summer surface means there's a pressure surface on here, pressure surface in your calculation, right? Plus uh, rho gh. So here is a pressure over here, and assume um, there's a atmospheric pressure, uh, not uh, there's a P0 pressure on other side of the pressure also, other side of the surface also. Then you use the second equation. Okay, because uh, it, it actually is the same, same, same meaning. Uh, when you have the same magnitude of uh, uh, reference pressure or uh, atmospheric pressure, you can cancel out in a calculation. So you're only looking at rho gh or your, 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 your pressure gauge. Yeah? Or what you measure on top of the surface here. So you're only using pressure gauge uh, for the second equation. Yeah? So um, I help you with some note on the screen so that uh, you know uh, in what cases you should use uh, which equation. Okay. On top equation, again, when you consider uh, P0. Second one on the bottom, when you uh, do not consider P0 or Another another uh, statement that you see in the question, it will say that assume a P0 act on the free surface also acting on another side of the summit surface, which which what I draw on the screen here. You will see P0 on the on the surface and P0 at the bottom plate of the, uh, the plate here. Okay. All right. Um, I think we go for a short break. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay, there's one more before we we go. Um, for your y prime, your uh, if your y prime is is is, let's say your your y prime is is longer than your y c. Right. So me, what what does it mean? It means, you, if you look at the diagram here, your you have your y prime here, and your y prime value will always, uh, let's say this location, uh, this location is your centroid y, y c. So um, we we'll always have your y prime larger than your centroid location. Uh, so just let you know, uh, just let you know, um, mean that. Um, the the FR will always act below or further from your centroid. Let's say 
uh, from zero to your centroid. Let's say this is your centroid YC. And FR is a distance to here. This is your Y prime. Y prime is your always tied to your resultant force. Y prime is the one that gives the moment uh, under the effect of your resultant force. Right. So, uh, so this is also another uh, uh, self check when you calculate. Uh, after you calculate the YC, it will become a reference point for you to see whether your answer is correct or not. So if you calculate your YC is larger than your Y prime, then something wrong in your calculation. Uh, something is not right. Okay. So this is another uh, uh, point. Um, and uh, this point also you already know already means the deeper you go, uh, the more pressure you will experience. Huh? Yeah. Okay, we stop here and then we go for a short break and we come back to analyze your, your X point. Yeah, X point. Okay, sir. Okay, let me stop the recording. <laughs>